Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2025 Volkswagen Jetta GLI Autobahn. This particular one is King's Red Metallic on the exterior with Grigio and Titan Black leather on the interior. It features keyless entry on two doors, LED headlights, LED turn signals and reverse lights, LED running lights. This is the first year that the GLI has had actual LED turn signals on the front. They alternate between amber and white there, as you can see it right there, with an LED light bar that goes up to the logo on both sides. This much meaner looking front end here, this nose mask kind of right here. I'll call it a nose mask, but it's a body colored panel right here that extends the hood down on top of the headlights. You have the GLI nameplate right here. These are chamber LEDs, very nice. Air intakes on either side, gone are those red accents on each side over here, and you keep the honeycomb design synonymous with the GTI and the GLI down below here. Very sharp and mean looking car here. Black mirror caps as well. This one has 18 inch black alloy wheels. That nice sharp line down the side, it goes out of the wheel arch, into the door handles and into the tail lights on the back. Honeycomb design continues on the back baffle here with the dual exhaust tips at the back as well. It says GLI in the center of the new uh, tail light setup. It's an LED light bar that goes up to here. It kind of disengages here and re-engages over here on this side. Amber turn signals, as you can see them on flash here. It says GLI right there beneath the new Volkswagen logo right there. And there's a look at your panoramic roof. The trunk lid is molded with a spoiler on it already, kind of molded into it. You can add a black spoiler to this or the GLI. You can actually add that to it as well or any Jetta for that matter. Uh, but the panoramic sunroof is pretty awesome as well. Nice thin bezel on it right here. Comes down. It's way thinner than a TV and thinner than your fingertip. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh, you know what? What else, is, what else is different here? Is this GLI name badge here. There's no surround around it. It's just the letters straight on the paint right there. Very nice. Integrated turn signals in the mirror as well. As we open this up, here's a look at that Grigio leatherette interior with three contrast stitches here. The red race stitching or contrast stitching. That continues down here on the arm pad. Black leatherette there. Bottle and cup storage here. Trunk release here and a door sill hood it illuminates at night right here it doesn't say gli or anything on it but it does illuminate at night three seat memory right here power lumbar forward back up and down here seat back adjust here there's a closer look at that grigio leather it's upholstered the same as it was in 2024 uh, just a contrast stitch down the side here on the black leather right on the edge leather on the inside of the seat heated and ventilated as it was before and then the headrest is manually adjusted and it has the red race stitching on it the arm pad right here continues that back here in the back there's a look at your outboard seats right there the two outboard seats are leather leatherette on the inset and then and the, i'm sorry the outset of the seats there and then also that center seat is leatherette with a fold down armrest and a manual adjusted headrest there as we climb in here i'm going to turn off the hazards because that ticking is going to drive me insane uh and then we're going to we're going to actually adjust the knob on the radio there we go we'll get to that radio in just a second but I know that'll drive people crazy. So I'll make sure it's pointing straight up and down. Over here, automatic headlights here. Race stitching continues into the door, from the uh, door panel over here. It picks up here on this little sill right here. It's a leatherette across into the door panel over there where it picks up its gloss black and there's your contrast stitching again or race stitching right here on the arm pad and the three bands right there in the inset. The digital cockpit is right here. So this digital cockpit you have uh, capacitive touch where you can adjust the view here so I'll hit view and that changes to a wide screen then there's a crop screen and then there is the dial screen now I have already done a video on the SEL the, the uh, GLI doesn't usually come with navigation uh, so this one has stayed the same so you still don't get nav on this one uh, even though the Jetta SEL will have it uh, you don't get rear heated seats in this one either even though the SEL will have that too you get a temperature gauge over here on the left and the fuel gauge over here on the right. So paddle shifters right here on the left and right side. Again, capacitive touch right here. So uh, automatic, um, the uh, sorry, adaptive cruise control is right there and travel assist is here. There's a button on the tip of the stock right here that brings up this guy here. So if there's lane assist, adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and then your front assist there. So I can push this button again and then that's gonna take that off. Um, red 
accents down here at the base of the steering wheel here flat silver finish on the outside edges of it with the capacitive touch your volume controls there and song skip and preset skip is over here uh, now you do it does say gli down here at the base as well um, and then you have a leather wrap steering wheel here with the sport grip at nine and three all right so down below stainless steel pedal caps if you can see those down there three of them right there well uh, two, two of them on the dsg three of them on the um, six-speed manual or automatic uh, this one does not have the six-speed of transmission obviously and now the 2025 gli is the only car where you can get a manual gearbox so moving on to this radio here am fm and satellite two knobs here we're going to x out of that there there's our satellite radio you have gesture control there as well they changed these boxes moving you don't have the boxes moving anymore but the numbers change as you wave your hand across there so you've got gesture control there 36 presets and you can mix and match so they can be am fm or satellite or even internet if you have that set up but you can uh, do your all your favorite stations in there and it doesn't matter what band they're on all right so you do also get app connect which allows you to do android auto or apple carplay wirelessly on this one so you don't have to connect you get wireless charging down here as well they've upgraded the wireless charge pad here i think this one's going to probably work a little better than the previous ones uh it's a different design here and you do get two usb c's right here that are backlit so you can see them at night the climate control is still dual zone you still keep heated and ventilated seats on both driver and passenger side so you have it on both sides right there uh, i'm going to go ahead and turn off the heated seats though there's no need for those uh, but you have that on both sides but what's different is the look of it. It's capacitive touch now. So there's my fan speed right there and I can swipe across to go warmer, or sorry, higher or lower by going to the left. I can also swipe from blue to red to go warmer or red to blue to go cooler. I can also hit the menu button which brings it up on the touch screen up here. There's my sync button there, my vent set up right here so I can change my vents here to one of those if I choose to. And then I also have my fan speed right here. So I can adjust that as well. And I'll just hit radio to go back here. Now, um, you do also get uh, the vent set up the same underneath the radio. Radio's angled towards the driver. It's just a larger screen now. Now it's a, 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 an eight inch screen here. Uh, and then you do have this linear set up on the vents over here. There's a vent there, but this just, this line continues here. This is reminiscent of Passat and Ardeon. Uh, over here on this side, it slopes down just a little bit. So you have four vents up front again, four main vents. So that didn't really change. Your shifter is still a backlit shifter. It's an aluminum uh, gear shift here. Uh, and then you just put it in reverse here. Your backup camera shows up right there. You do not get trajectory steering, but you got the static camera here with the red line signifying where your bumper is, and where your trunk lid will open to, and then the green line signifying straight back. You do also have a park, your parking brake right there. And then your auto start stop shut off here and drive modes here and traction control over here on this side. Now you do have on this screen here, let's see, we're going to play around with something here, see if I can pull them up. So driving data, digital cockpit, I can change what's displayed there. Um, driving data, there's my driving data there. Uh, and then I think I can still get a boost screen. Well, this is fuel here. So um the boost screen i saw it in all of the promo pictures we do also get ambient lighting so ambient lighting and change from automatic to manual now i've got the 10 color set up here i can change it i always go to purple changes everything here and here and then down in the phone tray it turns it to red as well i'm sorry to purple um now um for the vehicle itself let's see here i don't know i'll have to play with one of these to figure out how to get to the boost screen um there it is sport does it there's the boost a performance monitor there that's what i'm looking for so i have that right there and i can change it here the g meter the temperature so i can change whatever's displayed here so this is pretty cool that you can do that that's my psi the g meter and uh boost uh, so um i have all of these different options here there's also a drop down menu here where i can add a favorite um uh, and then my instrument color cluster uh light percentage is all adjusted right there so brightness over here in the glove box manuals were right there okay you do also have that bottle and cup storage over there passenger seat is 100% manual there's a lever right there to slide it forward and back and over on the side absent are the handles to raise or lower the seat here just this one back here to adjust seat back pitch there grigio leather again heated and ventilated seat here 
There's the headrest there, close up look. Seat belt adjust right there. Panoramic sunroof right here, I have it open. So you have a pop-up windscreen right here. There's a look at the sunroof there. It's a power sunroof. Sunglass holder right there for storage. Black headliner, your vanity mirror with the, nail, with the uh, a, um, <laughs> incandescent bulb right there. You have that on both sides. I wanted to say LED, but it's not LED. There you go. Armrest in the middle right here with the kickstand on it so you can adjust the height of the armrest just a little bit there. You do also get a USB-C connection in here that's also backlit. So look at your cup holders here, stadium seat style cup holders. There's one taller than the other one here. So if you have two lids coming back from the, or two cups coming back from the drive through the lids aren't battling each other for supremacy. Uh, coin storage right there. Well, let's take a look at the back seat. There's a look at your wheels again right there. These are similar to the wheels that came on a 40th anniversary edition. That's what they look like to me. So here's a look at the car. This one comes in at 35,961. 445, or sorry, 455 for the King's Red Metallic Paint. 650 for the GLI Black Package, which gives you, uh, the Black Package gives you 18 inch painted alloy wheels, black side mirror caps as well. Uh, auto dimming home link mirror uh, for four, 405 here. 296 for monster mats and a heavy duty trunk liner with cargo blocks. 215 for a third year prepaid maintenance. 1225 for destination, brings you to 35,961. So you open this guy up back here. So look at the Grigio seats here. The rear seats are not heated in this car. SEL Jetta does give you heated seats in the rear, but the Jetta GLI Autobahn does not. That is leatherette in the middle right there. There's a fold down armrest there. You get the Grigio color back here on the, the hard surface plastic here. And then down here on the arm pad, it's leatherette with a pocket down here for storage. As I climb into this one here, I'm wearing my Dwayne Wade uh, designer socks today. So not anything super fancy here but uh, just, uh super comfortable just to, just the same now sculpted seat right back here so i'm i'm comfortable here my knees aren't touching i got about four inches of knee space here so i'll sculpt the seat on this side too with a pocket there is no vent set up here the vents come out on the floor underneath both seats here's a look at the car seat hookups here and also over here now for the dads out there that want the car that goes zoom zoom like this one, squishy yet firm on that armrest right there that folds down, adjustable headrest right there. This is a great choice because the GTI with a car seat back here is gonna be a snug fit. It's gonna be a snug fit in this car, but it's more manageable and functional in this car because, because this is a GTI with a trunk. There's a look at that right there. 228 horsepower in this car. It's a 2.0 liter turbo. Um, there's a look up at your giant sunroof. There's a look at the instrument cluster there and the center console, shifter, all your good stuff right there. Let's take a look at the trunk. There's a look at those wheels again right there. Right between uh, the G and the I, squeeze the L right there, lift up. There's a look at your trunk. You get two sets of mats, the GLI cloth mats here that have a little tag to say GLI. You also have the embroidered or the uh, monogrammed or whatever you want to call it. GLI rubber mat kit right there. Front license plates left off on purpose. We'll put that on on request. Cargo blocks are up there. You do also have this cargo protection system. Here's the floor you lift up. Spare tires underneath. There is a quick release subwoofer there for the Beats audio system in this car. It does have premium Beats audio. Jack apparatus is set up it right there as well. There's seat pulls on either side to fold these seats flat. And then there's hand holds here so you don't touch the paint to close that hatch. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles and include three years of included maintenance on this particular car. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, then we give you an additional 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance for a total of six years. Your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Uh, that is a local deal only. You'll have to travel to my dealership for those additional three as I can't make a dealer out of town or another dealer honor those free oil changes. So if you're interested in this car or another one like it, please give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay Stay healthy. Have a great day.